anybody follow you? No. All right, let's begin this episode. Welcome everyone to another episode of Around Akiba. Today for an update session. And yeah, I'm Tristan and I'm here with Matt. Oh yeah, we're in a nice park today, aren't we Tristan? Oh yeah, the weather is fantastic. It's a great day to go out and get some fresh air while taking social distance. I think there's nobody else around here. Yeah, we thought we'd just give you an update on some of the projects we uh, have just completed and are going to be working on in the future. We actually worked on a, on a collaboration with a brand called Akihabara Premium Collection. And you might have seen our video featuring Joey the Anime Man uh, walking through the streets of Akihabara wearing a slick uh, Ghost in the Shell coat. It is a collaboration with Ghost in the Shell SAC 2045 and then also uh, we worked with Yuriko Taiga. She also wore the coat for a model shoot which is featured on the official website of Akihabara Premium Collection. Yeah, actually first we, we me and Tristan, uh, we filmed a cosplay video for Ghost mm. in the Shell with Yuriko right. and some other cosplayers uh, just outside at night. Yes. And I guess this company reached out to you yeah. because they saw our cosplay video. They thought exactly. it was really cool, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So that's how we get a sweet job working with Ghost in the Shell. You just make a sweet cosplay video and they'll find you. Exactly. Follow your passion. <laughs> yeah. That was great, yeah. I think that's, that's a great way to get jobs these days, you know. You make good examples, put it on the internet uh, and then people might find you and reach out to you. That was very lucky. Yeah, and then we were in Akihabara filming Joey in this sweet slick coat and all, the, all these uh, people around Akihabara were definitely looking like, who is this super cool guy walking down the street? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think we had like so many people also coming up to us like, well, what are you filming on the trip? Yeah. But yeah, it was top secret. We couldn't give them any information. So we even used the water bottle to prove its waterproofness and it worked. Yeah, usually you see those kind of things in videos and you're not really sure if they're just faking it, but oh, yeah. you're just like pouring all this water. It's like, oh, it's definitely waterproof. It's so. definitely waterproof. So that's another reason why the price is so high for this coat. The price for the coat is definitely high, but it's only limited to 100 pieces. Yeah, I'm always worried about buying like super cool clothing because then maybe if I see somebody else wearing the same thing, oh. you know, I won't be that cool. But this one, definitely there's a high chance you'll never see another person wearing your coat. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> you might be the only one. Also, there's one more product that uh, I especially like from their uh, collaboration series and it's an ukiyo-e. Do you know what an ukiyo-e is? Mm, not really, no. So, yeah, just let me show you guys. So we got this uh, sweet ukiyo-e here. Ta-da! Look at this. Ah, so it's a painting. It's not a painting, to be precise. So an ukiyo-e, so let me tell you a little bit about ukiyo-e. So ukiyo-e, it's a woodblock print, and the first of these woodblock prints were made in the Edo period in Japan, maybe in the 17th century, about uh, 1620. You might know the famous wave made by Hokusai. So this was also an ukiyo-e, a woodblock print. And how it's made, so basically you have multiple woodblocks, and you carve out different layers. So in Motoko's case, so there were different layers, for example, just the eyes, then her hair, her suit, the, the naming, the logo. So there were many different layers made, maybe around five to 10 different layers, then colored with different colors, like a black layer, a blue layer, layers for the shadowing and her eyes. And then you have to print all those layers on, on Japanese paper, on washi. And that's how this artwork uh, is made. Because it's also handmade and limited to 300 pieces, I think the price for this one is quite reasonable, around uh, goma and 50,000 yen. Yeah, I really love this artist's uh, art style too. It's oh yeah, cool. can you tell us about the artist? Yeah, he, I mean, he did like the official art style for the, the new Netflix anime, so. Yeah. Yeah, he's always working with big companies now. And yeah. this video yeah. is based on his artwork. Yeah, and I think his style of like drawing female faces is very unique and mm. always beautiful. Very beautiful, yeah. Yeah, I think there's something cool about like having like a otaku item but still kind of like a ancient art, like a old style art yeah. making piece kind of thing. Yeah, ukiyo-e, that's like very antique style. Definitely, yeah, I like that. It's like basically anime goods, but it's not just any merch, right? It's an actual art piece. It's limited to a few hundred. It's handmade by Japanese craftsmen. So this definitely has some art value as well. 
and so definitely check it out all right let's talk about a few more updates that we have for you guys yeah i mean we're gonna do some more otaku reviews whether it be anime games or our stuff in akihabara of course definitely that has to be there and then also we are going to have a couple of more interviews that we are planning so definitely look forward to that and there's also uh, one big project we are working on right now actually we are going to produce uh, a graveyard idol in japan and make an official graveyard idol dvd with a graveyard making company we can't uh, disclose too much information about it right now but I think you're going to be amazed who the idol is, so look forward to that. <laughs> oh, and of course our uh, Hideo Kojima documentary is <laughs> definitely being written as we speak. It's written, so he doesn't know that. about it yet. <laughs> yeah, we haven't presented to him yet, but you know, we're, we're coming up with a script now. Yeah, I'd also like to make more kind of like comedy skit spoof ideas, yeah. like of course to do with anime culture and stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, the next one we're working on is like a Pokemon theme one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might be Pokemon themed. Yeah. So definitely Pokemon themed content coming up. And we'll also try to do more live streams. Uh, we'd like to, yeah, you know, maybe. just go out and talk Habra and live stream whatever's going on. Yeah. yeah, and of course, live streaming our own projects, stuff that we're yeah. working on behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. And you guys got to be prepared for uh, our new leading lady who's going to be taking over our mascot character. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, we won't announce her yet, but uh, she's in the works. We yeah. saw the work in progress. She's oh, looking yes. pretty good. She's looking pretty good. She's going to be the next biggest iconic character For sure. in <laughs> Japan. So Around the world. Yeah, around the world. Around Akiba and around the world. Oh, For yeah. sure. Okay, so these were the updates, the first update video of 2021. Uh, I think there's a lot of stuff going on and we are going to work on a lot of stuff. We definitely want to hustle hard and make the channel explode in 2021, almost hitting 10,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for the support. Stay tuned, uh, stay subscribed, smash the like button and see you next time around Akiba. Let's go take a nice relaxing walk in the park, Tristan. Let's go. Wait. What is that thing over there? Mm -hmm. What? It's a robot cutting the grass? Okay, what is that? What? Only in Japan. <laughs>